I don't even know what to take. Give me some water. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I got too excited on that last one there. I am sweating. Oh, no. Give me some bread. Fucking shit. Oh, God. Yeah, give me bread. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Night, 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 night. I hate that song so much, man. I actually like it. It's really catchy. It's so fucking overplayed. It's ridiculous. It's so good. It's so bad. I love it. Yeah, that's what it is. Those songs like that, it's, they get, they're so bad that the more you hear a bad song, you're the more just like, mental whatever, it becomes. I guess. But it's a it's very quintessential wedding song. Yeah. Like, I don't think I would ever hear somebody blasting that in a car, like, as they're driving. Uh, I think I've heard way fucking worse shit. Yeah, being what's the worst the... thing you ever heard someone listening to in a car I don't know. while I don't driving? Know. Spice Girls? Yeah, like some jacked, like, super muscular Tell guy. You. You, ever do, you ever get those feelings where you're driving in the street and you're like, man, if somebody listens to what I'm, here's what I'm listening to right now? When you're listening to like I'll something. lower it sometimes because it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah it's, you know what? Uh, but then if I see when I'm ripping, yeah. like, some brutality or something and some guy's like, this guy's fucking possessed. But then if you're really, like, feeling the song, I it's I don't like care. a mental song, I put it louder. I put the those down yeah, yeah you have to show your dominance to everybody around you yeah exactly sometimes if I'm, li- if I'm listening to like really uh, old school like rap and i'll drive by a bunch of like younger kids uh, at a bus stop i'll lower the windows and i'll put the music louder because i'll be like these kids have to know what if it's like a bunch of gangsters you put that too uh, maybe i don't know i don't really discriminate what's a gangster like a uh, cholo a mexican of, guy no it could be a group of just hoodlums in general but what would define them as a hoodlum i don't know just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Two rags and fucking red bandanas. They're just chilling in the streets. They don't have to be. They could be white. They could be black. They could be Asian. They could be Hispanic. All races, hoodlum. all colors, all creeds are welcome to the hoodlum nation. Yeah. Welcome back to Beyond the Hot Ones this week. Hope we don't get sued by hot ones. No, I think other people have done um, variations of hot ones. Okay. I'm already sweating. I haven't yeah. even started yet. This yeah. fucking hoodie's going to come off. I already have fucking heartburn. Acid reflux. We are uh, going to, for your viewing pleasure, put ourselves through excruciating amounts of pain uh, with uh, seven distinct hot sauces, one by one throughout the course of this episode. Uh, just because, I guess, I don't know, Hot Ones is cool. I think our episode and our podcast is cool. So we'll see what the fuck happens. Right. We have um, cautionary fucking throw up bins next to us we've got bread we've got milk oat milk actually yeah silk silk is that what it's called yeah it's silk. that's the brand yeah. silk anyway for anyone who uh, is still wondering it's the podcast about everything and absolutely nothing with your boys josh and your soon to be dead co-host justin <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah if yeah, you're yeah, watching yeah. on youtube make sure you hit the fucking subscribe button make sure you hit the fucking like button make sure you Fuck. also hit the notification so you can be notified that Fuck. our beautiful faces have released a new video for you every week on friday and if you're listening on apple Podcasts and spotify you know what to do there's a star rating you can go up to five and then you can email apple and complain that there isn't a six star rating could you imagine some guys like jesus you guys yeah apple for sure they've gotten that though yeah Customer service people have gotten every single thing possible. No. You know what I hate the most, actually? What? And I understand why it's implemented. Why? But I can't stand this. When you go to a website and they're like, chat with a live agent now. It's like, I don't want to chat with you. I had this problem like two days ago when I had to call Shopify for our website. Yeah. And I was like, I, for the love of, like, honestly, I couldn't find the, the, the phone number at all. You have to like log in and go down and ask a question and this and that. Yeah. It's like, yo, I don't want to talk to some, <clears throat> some robots. I need to have some, like, you know. Word to word human interaction. Was it uh, a robot or was it like a real person? No, I ended up finding out how to how to do it because you have to for Shopify. It's like a, it's a live chat, but if you go deep and you dig, you can find a phone number. They always have phone numbers. Yeah, that's the worst. Th- you know, uh, you who have is to dig th- though. Who is it? Fuck. There's a company that I always have to go Google contact number for this company, and it brings me to like a separate site. Yeah. Where they're like, yeah, if you're trying to contact them, they don't want to hear from you. But if you're really trying and you dig hard enough, you find the number yeah. and then you call them. I know Fizz. You can't. What's the Fizz? In- internet supplier. What like, the fuck is Fizz? Is it Fizz? It's called Fizz, right? Yeah, Fizz. Fizz is an internet supplier. Yeah, it's like Virgin's competitor in terms of pricing. There's no. Bell, Videotron, Fizz, and, and anyways, there's no you can't call. No kidding, they don't have a number. Dude. That's, That's a- the sole reason, by the way, I didn't go with Fizz. I went with Virgin because you can't call them. I was like, fuck these guys. That is the bi- It's the biggest fucking piss off. No, so I'm not I had to do that today when I was talking to somebody. And there's a live chat option. And it's like, at least give me the option to do two of them. Yeah. Don't just give me one and then expect yeah. me to fucking... 
find my is way somebody, home. Is somebody actually chatting behind a desk? Yeah. At I'm, that point, just give them a phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what? how much extra must it cost to give them a fucking phone? It's like texting somebody and calling. Problems get solved way quicker when you're on the phone. Yeah, exactly. I used to tell this to a friend of mine all the time when we would go out. This is back in the day when we used to have flip phones instead of actual iPhones. And they'd be texting them. We'd be coming off a bus or something and meeting them downtown. And it's like, yeah, I just texted to see where they are. Why don't you call them? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just pick up the phone and dial their number? I hate that shit. So Text can, him. Ask him where he is. No, no I'm going to call. Yeah, I'm going I'm to call you. I'm going to call you. The worst, and we always talk about this. I call you, you don't answer, and then you text me yeah. back as a reply. Yeah. I don't mind if you text me back right after I call and be like, yo, I'm, I can't talk. Yeah, right for that, that's your excuse. Don't text me back an hour and a half later. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You called? Yeah, I called. Call me back. <laughs> I do that sometimes too, but we all do this. What yeah. do you? I've yeah. caught you doing that shit so many yeah? times. Have yeah, I, have yeah, I, I do that. Yeah, of course. Have yeah. I actually done that? Wow. Yeah, of course. Now of I'm course. A, now I'm on the fucking <laughs> spot right now. Fuck we it. all do that though. It's normal. Because yeah. you could be like, it could be that you, I don't know, you like, um, you were taking a nap. I you, you, I called you, and then you woke up. You're really really busy. It's like, bro, you called like text me or something. It's like I I can't right now. I'm like, they're about to take a shower or whatever. You know. I do the forgetting to text a lot more than I fucking do answering you back by text. I think yeah. not with you. Honestly, this is a fucking testament to how much I love you. I don't think I ever really ever forget to answer you or call you back or whatever. Yeah. There's some people, man, and they call me out on it too. The bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah me you, too. Just, you you forgot. Yeah, me My too. My text game is so fucking weak. Yeah, I have a shit text game too. On that note. Are we going to start off with the yeah, fucking, yeah, let's uh, go. the first wing? Let's go. So the first wing, we decided to go... Uh, it's easy. Easy. Easy peasy Tabasco. Tabasco. Why is it green? Isn't Tabasco red? I was just going to say that. Why is this green? Why is it green? It's jalapeno Tabasco. Yeah, green pepper sauce. Pima Vai. And so they get the red one from the red pepper, I guess? Yeah, this is made in Avery Island, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. That's where all the Mexicans are. Yeah. They know about sauce. Yeah, they know about sauce. But this is like the classic one, right? I don't know a lot about sauces, to be honest with you. This is like the classic one that you can get in any restaurant, no? What's Tabasco? Isn't Tabasco is a brand or it's a type? Tabasco is both, I think. It's a brand and a type. I think it's a brand and a type. They really branded themselves really well, these guys. Yeah. All right, let's okay. get this going. This is going to be an easy one, though. I'm not too worried about you it. You think? Imagine I just collapse right now. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, shit. Are you doing, are you doing a, we didn't touch. We didn't touch. Are you doing a full wing or are you doing well, a... Well, I'm going to start off. All right. This is easy. Wow. Butter. It's really good. Yes, I'm all right now. Oh, yeah. That was so easy. I don't feel like there was much on that one. No. Or could it be that maybe it was just too easy? Yeah. Setting myself up for a fail here. Don't what touch your eyeball, eh? Yeah, I know. Don't for forget. Real. Don't forget. I did that once, man. I, I don't know if I told the story on the on the podcast once where we had a really hot one from uh, a friend of ours. Well, I'm already starting to sweat. I feel it in my mouth. Um, and I, I was just like, I want to take a piss. And then for like an hour after, I was just like, wow, oh, man. I'm like touching my you balls. Touch and your I, dick. And I'm just like, oh, man, what the fuck? Why are my balls so like fucking hot? And I'm like, what's going on? My balls was hot. And I'm just like, what the hell? So I asked my, my friend, I'm like, is that normal? He's like, yeah, did you go take a piss? And I'm like, oh, no. And I realized right then and there that I didn't wash my hands yeah. before going and take the piss. Because we don't do that. Anyway, back to the text game. Have uh, When you're talking to a girl, okay? Like, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've recently uh, dived back into Bumble and Tinder mm -hmm. as a result of my... Um, my uh, little trip to Toronto for work. Yeah, fuck Toronto anyways. So anyway, I, um, I, I, I re-downloaded it and I started to think after and it's like, am I really down to go through the whole fucking texting thing again? I'm so used to now not doing that whole texting thing with a girl where it's like back and forth and always talking. It's fun when it's fun, but like, do I really feel like jumping back into that, you know? And it's like, I was thinking after, my text game must be so fucking weak right now that if ever I would jump in back to a relationship with somebody, would I even be able to like continue it or have it grow organically? Because it's going to be like... Are, like you talking, are you text. talking if you meet somebody or like just a random girl? Both. Like meaning if you meet somebody in you and it's, it goes somewhere. What I'm saying is this. Is it acceptable yeah. for a new, let's say on the part of a girl, for a new guy that you meet... To not be a strong texter from the get go. I think girls like strong textures. I uh, we also like strong texters. Like how many girls have we spoken to? Are like these girls are so fucking dull. Like I'm not even down. So wh why do we think that if we know that our as uh, ourselves are not strong texters, texter, texters? Well, a texters. because honestly, depending, I don't actually really give a fuck sometimes. You know, like I'm not down, and I'm not down. I'm, I fucking smoke weed too, man. So like, if I smoke <laughs> a joint, like it's game over. If we're texting and I just stop answering you, it's because I'm fucking stoned. I, I can't anymore. That's yeah. what it is. Or I'm really, really busy, which is mostly the, the truth. This is what I'm saying. Like, if, if you're 25 and 26, the whole texting thing is a, takes on a bigger role than it would normally. Do you right. think now at 30, given that we all know that we're all busy and that we're all doing this shit in our lives, that we're really thinking about that anymore? Do you think a girl at 30 is like, oh, my God, he didn't text me back? Or do you think a girl at 30 is I now? I think she's so a, bit more, a bit more lenient. I mean, there's exceptions. I've literally left girls on, like, 
two days. You know, like your 2D on your fucking Instagram. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, I should probably answer right now, you know, kind of thing. But uh, no, for the most part, if you go a couple of hours, I think you're fine. But I mean, listen, man, it's 2021. Like we all, all of our phones next to us. If you don't answer within like eight, nine hours, it's because you're obviously ignoring it. You know what the worst part is about like Bumble and, and Tinder? Just talking about, about that again is I feel so bad. And I'll, I'll tell me if you ever do this. I feel so bad when you match with somebody, especially on Bumble, right? Because it takes the girl to talk to you. You match with somebody, they message you, and then you just never answer. Why do we do that? I was thinking about that the other day because I had two of those happen. Okay, well, there's two reasons. Two and it reasons. wasn't it wasn't from a mass swipe. I didn't okay, do a mass swipe. That's what I was going to say. I was Either selective with my swipes. A is the, ma- the mass swipe yeah. and you're not down. Mm-hmm. B, you swipe on her in the moment when you were super mega horny and now you are not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not attractive anymore. Or three, you just, uh, I don't know, don't feel like it or forgot or you're just not down in that moment. Mostly the super hot one though for me. So why do you think that we swipe then? Initially, because we're fucking horny, man. <laughs> like well, when should. you're t- to swipe on them. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think no, no, for to me- see if you match. I'm saying. Well, what, why validation? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, like for I'll, ourselves, I'll, I'll swipe on the girl. Yeah. Knowing full well in the back of my mind that I probably won't answer her if she talks to me. On oh Google, yeah, probably. Just to see curiosity. Yeah. Just to see if she'll match. Is that is that what you think it is? Curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think yeah. girls do that too? Of course. That's why they don't answer. You just oh, want to see. How many times have you met them? Fucking DM the girl or message on Bumble and they don't even answer uh, on Tinder and they don't answer. Yeah. Do you think there's a way to ever like avoid that, like s- to avoid the curiosity swipes? No, you would have to pay for uh, Tinder Gold and shit, so you could see who actually likes you, and you can then you you could pick. What does Tinder Premium and Bumble Premium give you extra that you pay fucking twenty I bucks? I think I don't know exactly, but I think you're able to see who uh, your pendings are. You know when you go on Bumble. And there's your pendings, and you see like it's kind of like well, there's I don't know there's a name, but it's like blurry. Their mm-hmm. picture is blurry. I think if you pay for it, it's not blurry. You can see who they are, so okay. you're able to go like select who you actually want one by one instead of doing the whole swiping thing. Do you think that that's like kind of pathetic to, to pay for a fucking? I thing think so. I mean, Jesus Christ! It's like are you <laughs> twenty bucks a month. It's a lot. It's fuck. It's one hundred forty bucks a year. One of our some of the somebody that we know got uh, roped. He was really drunk one night and he was just like fucking around with his phone. And he got roped into a fifty dollar a month charge for for Bumble and he forgot to cancel it. So he got roped into a fifty dollars for the second month too. Jesus. At but that point, you use it obviously for the yeah, for the remainder of the month. Obviously. Do you think that it actually increases your chances though? I don't think so. Listen, there's times where like, I don't know about you, but the, the blurry picture thing. Like yeah. you look and like, okay, this girl like <laughs> yeah. could be hot, you know? So like you're trying to look for her and you're just swiping and you're no, no, no. And then you try to find them, you know? I'd have done that so many times because they look hot. Sometimes it backfires too, by the way. They look hot. They're fucking not at all. But um, for the most part, I think it would because you're, it's showing you what you're able to get. Yeah. Here's, guess, here's yeah. what you have. Yeah. Are you down? Yes or no? The rest doesn't even matter anymore because they, they never swiped on you yet. What if what if you pay and you just look at everything that you can get and everything you can get is not at all what you want? That's probably the most. That's probably the case. That's probably what happens. Yeah. Do you, do you think you would settle then at that point? Depends what kind of person you are. I wouldn't. Would you? Depends how like attractive they are. Honestly. Would Would you? Okay. Let's say you're the type of person, and I think you're like me, where eventually, like, I would I would want to get. My, I want to end up with somebody in my in my life. And yeah. I think everybody is like that. I don't think anybody's like, yeah, I just want to be single for the rest of my life. Yeah. I'm sure there so. are some people, but I think for the most part, people want to end up with somebody. Yeah. So let's say the dating game in life was like Bumble, okay? And and now you've paid whatever amount you need to pay and you see everything that you can get. Like, a, let's you know the Mel Gibson movie? It was, uh, what was it called? What a Girl Wants? No. What a Girl Thinks? What Women Want? What Women Want? Yeah. I never heard of this movie in my life. You never heard about this movie? No. He, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, Andrea, but I think he, he takes a, a bath, a toaster oven, falls into the bathtub, oh, electrocutes him, Oh, the blow dryer falls into the bathtub, electrocutes him, and rather than dying from said electrocution, he now gains the power to read the minds of women across the world. Wow, what a movie. Yeah, Mel Gibson, dude. That's fucking so, like, yeah. not liking. That's this weird. This is Mel Gibson in his prime, dude, too. Just okay. In his, uh, in his haunch. Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway. You were so, no more than me. So he starts to be able to read the minds of women. And so by reading the minds of women, you can... It's too much. It's First of all, it's too much. That would literally can, drive you fucking insane. Imagine yeah. every single girl's like, oh, my God, this guy's so ugly. Or, oh, yeah, my God, this guy's this, this guy's that. This is what I'm saying. Yo, so, you will lose all your confidence and you'll be fucking depressed for exactly. sure. Exactly. So, one... Do you think that that would be detrimental to your success, to your point? Like, because oh, you're losing yeah. all your confidence? Yeah. And two, if now you know that ev- all the people, exactly all the people who are down for you, and what if all those people you're not down for, do you think that you would just settle eventually knowing that you want to get married and want to have a relationship? Or do you think like, fuck it, I'm just going to have to be single for the rest of my life? Which want takes over? Which want Well, you're succeeds? still able to find the, the one in reality, even if you know. You just haven't like met them yet or seen them. 
I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking settle. I mean, our first look. What do you mean? Give me an example. Like in, in this movie, are are girls just walking the street and he can and he can read their mind? Oh, and he knows their personality and things. Well, he can read their mind. Yeah. Yeah. I think what you're getting at is like, is he basing his decision off of what they look like yeah. or off of what their total personality is? No, because he could. Okay. So what what could he do? With this guy. What are his powers again? He can walk in the street and just like understand, listen and hear whatever women are thinking. So like if he goes up to a girl okay. and is like, hey, do you have a boyfriend? And she's like, yeah. And then he'll read her mind and she'll be like, no, I don't have a boyfriend. What if they're crossing paths on the street and she's yeah. like, oh, this guy's as really, lo- really good looking. As long as he focuses in on, her. On, on the girl, he can listen to her, her thoughts. Okay. How invasive. Yeah, it's super fucked up. But uh, no, because you can't tell personality like that. So no, it's not, it's not good. So for you, you're saying personality would outweigh the looks then? Let's say you read the mind of every girl in the world. Yeah. And of who would be down for you? And you're just not down based off of looks for any of them. Any. For any of them. Let's just say. Okay. Would you then say, okay, well, whatever. I'll just take the best of a fucking ugly bunch and see if their personalities vibe. And if their personalities vibe, then I'll settle for the look, I guess. I'd probably still give them a chance. Yeah. Would I settle overall? I don't know. I would have to really vibe with them one-on-one on the date, actually, you know? But say you give me a pool of, like, fours. <laughs> and only fours are down, right? Yeah. Take the hottest four, and maybe the personality would be chill. Who the fuck knows, you know? But uh, I would probably, I would probably not settle. No, 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 no. Looks are important, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Yeah, like you absolutely. need it, but personality is also important. So like, unless you find both in somebody, it's rare. Yeah, it's, uh, it's. Not, I don't think it's that rare to be honest. I mean, I think one always, always the other a little bit. Let's take this other wing, and I have a question. Actually, okay. I want to ask. Okay, I'm gonna do this while fucking dying. What's the next one here? I don't know. We Buffalo caliente. garlic hot sauce. I'm going to put a little bit extra on them, to be honest with you, because I want to fucking try this out tonight. Nah, it's not spicy. Give me. I'm going to die. Mmm, mm, tasty. What is this? Very tasty. This is very good. Not spicy, though. It's okay. We're in number two of seven, eh? Yeah, I feel this more than the Tabasco, though, I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. It's creeping up. Very nice. So, my question is, what do you think is considered settling? That's a great fucking question. Mm-hmm. What is considered set- settling? Because ever that word gets fucking touted around so much. Yeah, hard. I find. Hard. Yeah. What the hell is actually considered settling? Not. It, it's something to say. Not that you could be with somebody that you know you could be like. How can I say this? Not that you could do better. Mm-hmm. But I would feel it's more of like an emotional thing. You know, like you're settling, meaning like, fuck. I don't think we're on like the complete same like frequency. You know, I think there's something either missing. Or there's something not there, but like I like you, you know, enough to like maybe it might get a little better, maybe it might change, but there's something that's just maybe not there right now, you know. That's what I think settling is. Do you think that would ever actually work though? Like in the, in the long term, like because they say people oh they settled and they were married for fifty years. Like, can you actually stay married for fifty years if you settled? If your mind is so. always like oh there's probably something better out there. You get used to it too, eh? That's the thing. Yeah. You get used to their company, like their love and their way of doing things and your way of doing things and your routine mm-hmm. with that person, you know? So like in time, I don't think the settling like kind of just goes away. That's just your girlfriend now or your boyfriend. I think the settling part comes more in the beginning. That's for me. So, you know, like um, there's always that saying, right? That people say um, looks are important now, but in 30 years, they're not, they're not as important. Ooh, it's getting a yeah, I know. It's thing. fucking it's creeping up on me, this one. Yeah. In 30 years, they're not as important. Do you believe that saying? Like I don't, I, I don't know. Like yeah, it's important now, obviously, but why don't we think about more the, the long term? Because in thirty years, dude, everything sags, everything's ugly. I'm gonna be ugly. You're gonna be ugly. You know what I mean? We're not gonna be fucking. I don't know, man. I know some fucking good-looking fifty-five-year-olds, sixty-year-olds. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot more rare, though. What's your question? Sorry, I'm just like <laughs> freaking out with the spice in this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we think long term when we're looking for a partner in terms of looks? Like, why are we so short-term thinking when it comes to looks? Because I think personality is actually the, is actually more important in everybody's mind. I think everyone likes looks, but I think deep down in your fucking brain, personality is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you have to spend time with these people, man. The looks don't really matter. They do because you know you have to be, especially like for sex or things like that, for yeah. attraction. Like you, they have to be attractive. At the end of the day, you're not gonna get a fucking hard on for like some ugly chick that you with your first. <laughs> year. I mean, it's the truth, you know. That's why I think long term in everybody's head, personality, character. All these like traits all matter more than the physical appearance. What do you think makes the difference between a person that you vibe with person on a personality basis versus one that you're not? Because I'll give you an example, okay? I've been on dates with girls. Yeah. And usually the girls who I go on dates with, I'd say honestly, like 99% of the time, the vibe is there, the personality is there. Yeah. And I, we have a good conversation. Yeah. And when it's one, on, and that's when it's one on one. 
there's been times where I'll be at a party and I'll be like, oh, this girl's like cute. Let me go and try and talk to her, you know, or yeah. like at a wherever, anywhere that we are, you know, at like a bar or, or uh, someone's house or whatever. And I'll go and try to talk to the person and we'll have a little bit of conversation, but it just never evolves into that full on, let's have a full conversation. Do you think that... It's probably because you're at a party though. You think? Yeah, there's not enough focus on just the moment of you two. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of shit going on. So what I'm do you probably hammered too. You're hammered. Yeah. It's hard to focus, think, speak. So uh, what, how do you, how would you go from the cool little little conversation at the party or at the bar where it's difficult to maintain the long conversation because there's so many people around to asking okay let's let's go have a one-on-one situation in that moment yeah is is it possible yeah of course i'm gonna go smoke a cigarette come with me outside that's mm-hmm. the, that's the easy one if but she's a, a away from that night let's say you're one oh if that night okay yeah. I, thought, I thought i know that thing yeah let's moment. say it's a friday night you're at a, a house party some girl's there she's cute you have a little cool little conversation that's not going to evolve to a full-blown one-on-one conversation and now i know that I want to take her out, let's say, next Friday. How do I take that next step from that small little conversation to let's have a one-on-one together next week? Okay, well, were you here. were you vibing with her at the party? Yeah. Like, was she we, vibing well, with you? Within that little uh, the little conversation. Yeah. She was vibing with you? Did you feel at least that she was might be interested? Not even like anything. Find you attractive or anything. Follow-up conversation, ask more questions. It depends. How's her vibe? To me, man, the... the, the did, uh, did you get her number yet? All these things. Yeah. Have her Instagram? Like, all these things matter, you know? So what, me anyways. Because so, to me, the level of interestedness is reliant upon or determined by, rather, the level of engagement in the conversation. I find. I could be wrong. But you could always tell, though. You think? I could always tell. I what, mean, this what, I'm fucking wrong. Tell what? You can tell when a girl is somewhat interested, I find, or might be, yeah. or maybe is down to talk to you, or she's always looking at you or at a party. You're always looking at her. When you look at her, she's looking at you back. All these little signs, man, you know? Mm-hmm. She's touching you a bit. And then nothing too crazy, not jerking you off, but she's touching you, you know? <laughs> and things like that. And if all those check more, all like the, the body language shit, if all that checks, like, you're pretty much in. Not for anything sexual, just at least for a phone number, at least for the Instagram, or yeah. anything like that, you know? But this is what I was going to say. I feel like the level of someone's interestedness in you is determined by their level of engagement in a conversation yeah. or in however yeah, you're speaking yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah, And so, like, that's usually the marker that I use. Yeah. When I'm talking to a girl and it's like, if I'm talking to you and I see that you're engaged in the conversation that we're having, whatever the fuck it's about. It could be about anything. Yeah. Then I'll be like, okay, like maybe this is my, this is my move in. Do you think that's generalized? Do you think that's just me like reading or as guys reading too much into it? Do you think girls huh. on the other end of that conversation are like, I'm just trying to be friendly. I think a lot of guys read too much into it. You think? Like when I'm saying, oh, I know sometimes, like I could be so fucking wrong. Like it, it's very, very true. Maybe I just look familiar and she's looking at me. It could be anything. That's where like, oh my God, she's throwing at me like she wants my cock or something, you know? But it's like, no. I think a lot of guys read too much into it. I think a lot of guys get, can, can read the situation and get carried away very easily, to be honest. I'm more of like, I don't know about you, but I'm more like laid back. I'm not an aggressive type. So I'm not going to put myself out there, especially on a first, on a look. I'll go talk to you and shit like that. But like, yeah. I'm not going to like be like a cocky, fucking aggressive type person, you know? Like, what would you do in your in your, in your situation? I don't know. Like I, how do you go from the party to the to the the date or the at least the the my, the way I go about it honestly is yeah. I always feel very uncomfortable in the party aspect moment. Uh, not always, almost always. I've done it, but I feel more uncomfortable in the party aspect or the party situation of taking the conversation that we're having and saying, "Yo, by the way, next week I'm free. Let's go somewhere." I usually prefer and this is maybe like a, a pussy move, I don't know, is you're talking to them cool vibe at the party whatever and then like afterwards like you kind of add each other on instagram and yeah. then it's like then you send the message afterwards yeah. you know yeah unless you're vibing really really hard, really hard at the yeah. party i think to ask somebody on a date right like then and there it could be a little bit too like forward mm-hmm. i think it's good to like let them marinate a little bit you know you go to a party you meet and then you know you talk here and there and then you ask yeah have you ever been on a, on a party where you asked a girl right then and there for next week yeah. i haven't yeah? Yeah, yeah i've done it like twice no I would not say. me and th- they they've both worked but the date, those two dates, I could say, were not like the, the best, the best of, yeah. of the the bunch. And I'm always curious as to why, like compared to other ones where it's been like Instagram texting conversations and stuff like that. You yeah. know, we talk like we as guys, I think, and even girls talk so much about how like the dating game is is difficult. But I remember being uh, at a bar and there was an older guy there, maybe about 15, 10 or fifteen years older than us. Yeah. And he was married, he had kids, and he's like, man, if we had, at your age... Oh, my God, my cousin always says yeah, this. He's like, like, you guys have it so good. He's like, if we had all the tools available to us, like, you guys have yeah. Bumble, Tinder, Instagram, Hinge, all these fucking things that are yeah. made for that. Yeah. He's like, it would have been such a fucking different story. Yeah. They had no choice to number on the napkin. They had no choice to approach a girl at a bar. 
You think that would work today? That, I think I want to try that one day. We already spoke about this, and I think it would, yeah. And girls like that that whole thing. And it ha- like, it hasn't died, you know? Unless, like, honestly, this all. De- I know it sounds really mean, but this <laughs> all depends on how good-looking you are. That's the bottom line. I guess. That is the bottom line. If some ugly, like, fucking guy or to them ugly guy comes up to them and, like, I don't know, he's, like, aggressive, like I said before, or, like, a douche, well, it's not going to work, you know? Or if he's good, not good, like, good-looking at all. But if you're, like... Regular normal guy, decent looking, has has some confidence. I think I think girls like that. I think girls like that more than just the DMing. I think it's outplayed for yeah. them. Yeah, I really want to try that one day, man. It's just like do the. You should. Hey, what's up? This is this is my. Number. I remember when I was in Italy once. Um, Italy once, as if I've gone like fifty times. When I was in Italy, the one time. The one time, yeah. Um, we were at a bar across from the hostel. It was part of. Uh, it's called the Yellow Bar, and um, there was this table of of. Uh, three girls sitting aside across from us so it was me toasty who i'd gone with and a couple of guys and one of their girlfriends who we had met there so we were talking we're chilling having a couple beers and i was like you know what man? I'm like, these girls are cute so i got up i went to the table and i was like hey and, and i heard them speaking italian so i said it in italian i'm like hey guys i'm like if you want to come grab some drinks with us we're sitting across the table feel free we're coming hang out with us they're like oh no it's okay so i was like whatever rejected you know go back and sit Dude, six minutes later, seven minutes later, these three girls got up and came and sit with us, and they're like, yeah. "Oh yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll grab a beer with you guys." And then we just we we started talking. And because when you left, they were discussing. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, it's a no. Oh my god, that guy, man, he's cute. You know, I'm his friend. He's cute too. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go for a bit. We'll, we'll have one drink. We'll see what's up. You know, exactly. Yeah. It's the discussion. Yeah, they, they discuss. Yeah, you know, us. It's more like, okay, we're up. Like, let's go. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a girl comes to a. Yeah. Fuck all, all my friends. Fuck all my friends. I don't care who I'm driving home tonight. You're finding your own fucking way home. <laughs> yeah, it's because girls are more like, girls do everything together. As no a, way. As a, as, a as a unit. As a collective. <laughs> no way out of those three girls, one gets up and goes. No. Zero chance. No. It's no, no. all three or none. So do you think that by, the, by that metric that guys tend to be more scared about approaching a group of girls to ask one out or whatever, to talk to one? Do you think by that metric, it's probably easier to approach a group of girls than it would be the single girl? I think so, yeah. Because I one of so. the, one of the friends in that group is always the wild one. Every group of girls yeah. has the wild one. Oh my God, yeah, let's go. Yeah, Who cares? Stop, stop. Stop being so fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You, you always say you want a boyfriend. Look, okay, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's always the one wild one. So the first, first, you'll probably nine times out of ten... This is me thinking on the spot right now, but you'll probably nine times out of ten get rejected on the first go where it's like, hey, come and whatever. So you got to kind of like play it off. Like, I don't really need you to answer me right now. I'll be over there when you make your decision. Yeah. And then they'll discuss. They'll discuss. And then they'll get up. They read their options. Yeah. That's what they do. I want to try this now. We'll try it. We'll go out. We'll try. I really want to try this. All Let's right. We're going for the third wing. The Chico Picante. Pico Picante. Oh, Pico. Chilisans. I said Chico. All right. I put a, a little bit extra on here. Me too. I put some extra. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's going to get hot this second. I can feel it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Put too much. Just dropped it on myself. Put too nice. much. These aren't too bad. Honestly, I was expecting worse. They creep up on you a little bit, though. I'm hungry, so I'm happy. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... Oof. <sighs> oh, God. What are these rookie sauces? Serious or what? Rookie. This one's creeping up on me. This, this is, is on the back sauce. of my throat right now. <laughs> I have fucking zero... T- <clears throat> I have zero tolerance for fucking sauce, dude. I love hot sauce. <coughs> I'm sorry. I love hot sauce, but I have fucking zero, zero tolerance for it. Yeah, with too much like California Reaper. That's going to be a bad one at the end. Okay, that was not bad. That was number three? Yeah. <coughs> That's number three? That's number three, yeah. So we still got four That's more. a good midpoint, I find, right now. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think we can up the pace a little bit. Yeah, I already have heartburn, fuck. It's not good. I was, uh, I was, when I was coming back from Toronto, speaking of dating and, and, and the, the way people act together, I guess, um, I was on the plane on the way back. Mm-hmm. And first of all, Okay, first of all, I got to call Air Canada because I paid extra. I paid, my company paid extra for the ability to choose my seat. Mm -hmm. And then I got on the plane, sat at my seat, and then the girl comes, the stewardess, and she's like, we got to move your seat for weight balancing purposes or something. And they went and sit me next to a, 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 a section where there was somebody sitting next to me. So I had somebody next to me on the, on the way back. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Two things. Number one, what is your preference of seating on a plane? <clears throat> I like the aisle. I, I, need, I need leg space. Okay, you're an aisle guy. Yeah, I need leg no space. No one's a middle guy unless you're fucking psychotic. No, no, no. But it, this wasn't the plane with the three. Uh, it was a two and two. It was a puddle jumper. A two and two, fine. I almost had a heart attack, dude. I got on the plane to go to Toronto. I look out the window. There's a fucking propeller. Eight hundred and fifty dollars for propeller. For plane. a fucking propeller, dude. Think about that. Yeah, but now when you when when the girl changed your spot, 
Were you in an aisle? Changed you spot. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, I was still in an aisle, so but I had some, aisle. I had someone next to me. Doesn't matter. I just like spreading my legs in both directions. But when you I booked, like when, when, you, when you booked the first time, you didn't know that your seat was empty next to you. No, on the way there, I didn't have to change the seat. I was, I was chilling. The Something way back, they, had to, they, they moved me. Yeah, so right. anyway, I, they changed my seat, and I'm behind this couple, who right away I notice, touch, feel, grabbing the hair. Go the guy, got a girl. Whispering in the ear, kissing the neck, kissing the ear, and I see this happening, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm becoming so uncomfortable, and I'm not a guy that like doesn't like PDA in general. I'm not a fucking PDA hater. I like PDA to an extent, but like I was literally thinking that at a certain point there was going to be a hand grabbing a penis. Yeah, like, and I saw the guy. That would have been nice for him though. In front to the right of them, mm-hmm. kind of like. Looking aside, you know. Yeah. So now I want to ask this question, okay? Because I want to, I want to call myself out. Okay, go. The couple that was in front of me was two men. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. It was a gay couple. I didn't see that one coming <laughs> at all. <laughs> Plot twist. I didn't see that one at all. And so I was looking at this and I was reacting like, "Oh, guys, like, stop doing the fucking PDA thing," you know. And then I, I started to like try and check myself, and I'm like, "Man, am I only doing this because it's a gay couple?" I, I do, I do this sometimes to myself, and I try to question my own thoughts. Because I don't want to be that guy that's like... You is know, it only gross because they're gay? Is yeah, that what you're thinking that, in your, in your yeah, head? Like I'm wonder- yeah, and, and I'm, I'm wondering, like, is that why I'm feeling that way? And I'm, then I'm thinking, how can I know for certain if that's why I'm feeling that way or if that's not why I'm feeling that way? If it was a lesbian couple, would I be thinking the same way? If it's a straight couple, would I be thinking the same way? I think so. You think? I think it's just fucking annoying. Whether you're gay or straight, I think it's just it's I think it's just the noises more than anything else. Uh, because you know what it was, man? It was there was a lot of like head in the neck yeah. and, and like dude, it's very tight, okay? So guy and girl or guy and guy, I don't care. This whole thing Yeah. It's not necessary for a forty seven minute flight, I don't think. Good for you guys, you're in love with each other, whatever. But and then I was so I was thinking, I'm like, I feel like if it was a guy and a girl relationship, I probably would have felt the same way. If it was a girl and girl, I probably wouldn't have cared. Why? I don't know. And, and, and I'm trying to think, like, what the fuck is... Wh- why does my, my, my mind think like that? You know? And it's like, I'm not homophobic by no. any stretch of the imagination. You do you. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. But it's like, man. Then I'm like, well, I always thought I was not the PDA guy, the PDA hater. And now I guess I am. You think it's... Cause, well, no, because then I was going to say, maybe you're just not used to it. But you said if it's a guy or a girl, it's the same thing. Yeah, like I've seen PDA, like really hardcore PDA people on like metros and shit yeah. like that when I used to go to school. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, I, some people are like, they're like grinding and shit on each other. It's yeah, kind of it's fucked like, up. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, people are here, people are watching. Yeah, yeah. So it's 7 30 in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, take it easy. So my question is, where is the line that, what's the, the line that you draw for acceptable PDA and non acceptable PDA? I think the cuddling on a plane is perfectly fine. Yes, you start making out on the plane. I don't think so. Kissing people, the neck, kissing the ear. It's a bit. It's a bit much. The people around you, people don't want to hear that shit. Whether you're you're straight or not, like I said. But like, I think the cuddling is nice. Like, if I'm on a plane with my girlfriend, it's a forty-five minute flight, twenty minute flight, or three-hour flight. Like, I'm down to like, mm. not to cuddle a bit. You know, it's nice. Well, is there a, stops is, there? Is there a level at which cuddling becomes a bit like there's too much cuddle? Like a nice little head on your shoulder. Yeah. You know well, I mean? I mean, how much could you possibly cuddle on a plane, anyways? Unless he's like lying, she's lying down on top of you. <laughs> like it was literally like. The the seats I would say were from like my laptop here to like here end of the table okay yeah and like that's one seat or two two seats okay I'm like well yeah, and so like the literally the arm was over the other guy yeah the guy was inwards head in the neck give me a little kiss on the neck a little on the ear and then snuggle move out and like really like inward like as if they're trying to like create body heat you know like there's a there's a cuddle for comfortability and then there's a cuddle for body heat and it's i feel just, like that's where just, the fucking it's just the noise for me that yeah because the thing is like for me and you probably you fucking throw on your earphones put some music on and you don't yeah. have to hear anything anymore yeah. but others don't have that luxury so mm-hmm. all you're hearing is fucking kissing it's so fucking annoying i want to take a nap like shut up you know can you imagine getting onto a plane and realizing you forgot your earphones. No, it's fuck. I, I would, I would leave. <laughs> I'm booking the next flight. I was, I'm going back home to get my earphones. No, you can buy earphones though on the, the plane now. Yeah, but not. They don't fit with the new iPhones. They don't. The iPhones have the lightning port. You would have to plug it into the Air Canada thing and like choose your music on your screen like a psychopath. Yeah, but not uh, the propeller. But propeller plane doesn't have a fucking a, a, a music channel. Maybe they were on their honeymoon. We're going to Toronto. Doubt it, because it's not a honeymoon spot. But you never know. Maybe they're, they're they're like super mega in love. It's a pathetic fucking honeymoon. Location. Like you know what I mean, man. Like, and I think about this sometimes, okay? Because I'm the very I'm I'm the kind of guy that's like, don't tell me what to do, okay? Mm-hmm. If I want to kiss my girlfriend on the plane, I'm kissing my girlfriend on the plane. Yeah. So, 
sometimes I feel like we're so both on the extreme. If some guy would tell me to stop, I would tell him to go fuck himself. But when someone else does it, I want him to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like it, it never works. Because if it's for me, in that moment, I want to kiss my girlfriend. I want to cuddle with her or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. I'm going to do it. I don't care what the guy in the back says. <laughs> but when I'm the guy in the back, yeah. it pisses me off. You Why know? do you think human nature is like that? I don't know, man. I think we just like having everything our, our way. Our own way. Yeah. That's all it is. We're you so like fucking selfish sometimes, man. Like if I want to kiss my girlfriend, I'm going to kiss her. But if you do it, it's annoying. It's fucked up actually that you say that because it's like I think I think every human is selfish in that way. Fuck yeah, we're selfish, man. So what, what makes the difference between the, the, those selfish moments of I want to kiss my girlfriend the way I want, but you can't do it the way you want around me yeah. to those moments where people have like complete and total acts of selflessness. I'm going to run into a hurricane to save you. Like because what? it's saving somebody's life. It's but not let's, just. Let's, a, anything, let's say anything else. I, I find a wallet and I'm not going to give you. I won't. I'll give you the the wallet back with the money inside. Things like that, you know, like yeah, people you know, do that shit. Yeah, because I'll give you two examples. Okay, there's one where you find the wallet mm-hmm. and you know that if that were if that was you, I want to have my wallet back. Mm-hmm. You know, so you want to make that person happy and you want to like give them back their wallet, their money, their mm-hmm. cards, all that stuff, right? But then when you go back to the noises, it's like, why don't you think the same way? Oh, if I were him. Mm-hmm. I would want to kiss my girlfriend or my yeah. boyfriend. But you don't think that way. Why is the money part in the wallet more important than the part of like the kissing or that's the annoying? I, that's what I mean. It doesn't make sense. It's fucked up. And so to the point of PDA now, okay, so we're talking about the line, right? Fuck. Obviously, like crossing the line is like really like sexual activities, yeah. right? So two questions. Why is kissing in the acceptable range of PDA? Yeah. A little, little kiss or no, whatever. But- off topic, not off topic, but random. You know, my friend got a, a fucking blowjob on the plane from a random what? girl he met. Could from you imagine? A random? a random. He just met on the plane on, on his way to Vegas. Do I know him? Yeah, I'll tell you his name after. What? Yeah. In the bathroom or on the bathroom? Straight up on the seat. Was it that there wasn't people around? Well, I mean, I, I don't ask him details. Maybe it was dark, it was a night flight, who knows? But he literally got a fucking blowjob on the plane. Like a full blowy, he came. Yeah, like a full blowy. Did he come? I don't ask him these questions, but he got head. So imagine, you're freaking out over a kiss. Imagine some girl <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Like that, I I would probably be happier with that though, because good for you, for the guy. Yeah, you get that blowjob, you know. Yeah, you get that blowjob, honey. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Sorry, I cut you off. But this is what I'm saying. So like the the obviously like kissing is within the acceptable range of PDA. Yeah. But so why is kissing okay? But you know what I mean? Like any other sexual like like let's see, as long as I don't have to see it's, anything. Like what if you see somebody like giving a guy a handy under a cover in the plane? That's not acceptable PDA. But no. But what's like, the difference between that and a and a kiss, technically speaking, you see the kiss, you don't see the hand job. I don't know, because the handy is like good for you. A kiss is like I don't know. Imagine imagine there was no know. boundaries on the levels of PDA in there'd society. Be, there'd be orgies everywhere. Do you think people would act like okay, social it's not socially taboo, but you're still um wary of being naked around other people in this fictitious fucking okay. world, okay? okay? Do you think people would like, okay, well let me just I'll just fuck. No, if you're self conscious about being naked somewhere, no, you wouldn't do that. Okay, so it's more about the the naked being naked than it is about the socially taboo. I think I think even today now. Yeah. You're so vulnerable when you're naked, man. Imagine <laughs> being on a on a metro like naked and like you're fucking somebody and like just everybody's doggies. watching you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> just fucking doggy yeah, style. Just ripping somebody like no, no. You can't do that. I think is I think if the whole world were like nudists, let's just say, and everybody was equally as comfortable as being naked, I think there would be a lot of a lot more public sex. Because why so do you hide? Weird. When you go fuck somebody in the forest, for example, why are you hiding? A because it's illegal, obviously. Yeah. But B because they want to show your naked ass to everybody, yeah. right? But if that was okay, would you fuck in public? You know how many people would be filming it, putting on Taylor man fucks girlfriend on fucking butt, posting yeah. it on the fucking internet and shit. Yeah. Okay, take like this wing. I, I, but before I, I poured it and I could fucking smell it. Yeah, I could smell this this is potent. Actually, what's it called? Um, the hot pepper sauce. Hot pepper sauce. Picante au poivron. Okay, Josh, good luck. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I put a lot. I put a lot on this it's one. Creeping. I feel like the one before this was was worse. No, put more. Oh, this is hot. I put quite a bit. Oh, yeah. No, I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it. You know when you feel in the back of your throat? Like yeah. right on the top of your palate. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling this one a lot. You know, it's fucking psychotic. People who enjoy like really crazy hot sauces. Marco's like that. I don't I've understand. seen him suffer. <coughs> oh, my God. oh, yeah. This is, I feel it. I feel it in the back of the throat here. Leo and, uh, and Marco did um, this like a long time ago. They did, oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. They did a hot, ch- a hot sauce. this one. Hmm? I'm with you on this one. Yeah, they did a hot sauce challenge with chicken wings at uh, McKibbins in Montreal, downtown. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently you have to eat <laughs> like 10 wings. You're good. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was so hot. Marco couldn't even finish a full wing. This is Marco. Leo mm. couldn't even drive home for how fucking how much it affected him, the hot sauce. It's a drug, dude. He didn't even drive home. It's a fucking what, drug. He's like, what are you hammered? I'm like, you hammered? He's like, no, I just... Too, too fucking spicy. Imagine everything you had to eat just had like a really hot spicy sauce. You would get used to it for sure. You would. You would 100% get used we're to gonna it. We're going to shit like crazy tomorrow morning. What the fuck were we even talking about? I feel like the spice is just re- <laughs> removing my capacity to think right now. I don't know. I <laughs> PDAs and shit like that, I think, right? <laughs> People fucking in public. Anyway, all this to say that uh, the whole plane ride, I was listening to my music, but I was constantly checking myself in my mind. Like, why am I thinking this way? Is it because they're... All this to say, I came to the conclusion, I don't think that if it was a guy and a girl, I would have felt differently. I think I would have felt the same. PDA is okay up to a certain extent. Guys, we don't need to see you licking, and girls, we don't need to see you licking your partner's fucking ear on the fucking plane. You know what I mean? We're all, we're all trying to survive here. You have to go to two extremes. Either you just kiss, or like you suck his dick. There's no in between. <laughs> That's that's the way I see it. Blowies yeah. are nice though. Blowies are very nice. I enjoy them very much. A, a blowy, like a public blowy, would probably be like more elegant than obviously getting fucked. You know, it's the subtle sounds of a blowjob yeah, going you can't on. Face in fuck somebody in public. Like you could if you really want to, but like I think yeah, it'd be no, more like subtle. A, like a sweet and sensual blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one of those. Yeah, I wouldn't want one of those anyway. On the plane. In general, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. already said this. I don't like. Uh, yeah, you know, one of those. I don't need you to choke on my fucking c- the cusp of my penis. The cusp. The cusp. The cusp of them. My mustache is sweating right now. Yeah. Um. So I want to ask you a question. Also, back to the. The, the bumble thing for two seconds yeah <clears throat> is there a profession that you wouldn't want to date yeah a stripper that's okay well aside, aside from stripper because i saw one okay and it was um bar girl or like hostess at a, a, okay. at a bar or whatever yeah it's not a game changer for me but i was looking at it re- i was reading some of the people's bios and i'm just like Ugh, i don't know like is that a turn off I, I, not that it's a turn off like i don't like going to clubs to begin with I like bars i like just chilling and I feel like I wouldn't want in a partner somebody who's constantly in the out in clubs and th- not because I don't trust them, just because yeah. like you, obviously you got to do things with your partner and like yeah. if I don't want to do the things that you want to do, then it's not gonna work. And so by that metric, I feel like someone who is working in that industry, it's like you're always out and you always want that yeah. kind of life, right? So yeah. it's like, is it reasonable to think like, oh well, I wouldn't want to date date somebody who's who's in that environment? It depends how you look at it. I mean, if that's I would think more because guys. Like, are just worried. Like, you go to, like, you know, like, it's Saturday night or Friday night. Mm. You know there are probably, I don't know, tens, twenties, hundreds of guys hitting on your fucking girlfriend at all times. You're not down for that, you know? You think that gets to you after a while? Like, in terms of jealousy? Yeah. Listen, I'm not a jealous guy. Mm. I don't think you are either from what I've seen anyways. We are with, you know, at, like, reasonable levels, you know? If a guy's hitting on your girlfriend 24-7, you're going to get jealous, you know? Mm. So do you think after a long time... You think that like that's why it bothers you, or just because like of the whole like not going out together and not going clubbing? I think yeah, it's probably both to be honest with you, because because yeah. yeah, like you said, you're in that environment and people are just constantly like up your ass and yeah. It's, like, and the girls use it to their advantage. Like I know yeah, I have I've spoken to girls about this. And listen, by all means. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, you get your tip. Yeah. It helps you get make more money. 100%. You know, so you know that your girlfriend is like maybe pushing a little bit more than she than you would like. Mm-hmm. She's not crossing any boundaries. But it kind of bothers you, let's say. You know, that's that's more for me. But for your reasoning, I mean, you wouldn't be able to go out because your girlfriend's always working anyways on Saturday nights. Yeah, this is my next so. point. Is like, what what drives people to 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 take those types of? I don't know. Like for me, if I'm thinking about it for myself personally, it's like my weekends are shot. I'm yeah. always working every single night. I finish at fucking four in the morning. Yeah. The pay is, I would imagine, not. I mean, the tip is probably good, but it's the amazing, pay. Amazing man. Yeah. You yeah. Make I a spoke, lot of money. Yeah, I spoke to girls that used to work at like New City Gas. They used mm-hmm. to walk out with like nine hundred bucks a night. Tip. Yeah, tip and pay. What? Yeah, like I would do it. I don't give a fuck about your Saturday nights. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Like uh, it doesn't matter. That's fucked up. I didn't these know are that. big, big clubs though. If you go to like a small bar, like no, you know what I mean. But yeah. these are big, and if you and you have to be obviously really, really hot. But yeah, yeah it's part of the interview process. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do it for eight hundred bucks a night. I, I would. I mean, like that's literally the reason. That's that's your drive is making the money. I don't know. Like I like my my weekends. I just want to like. I don't know. I want to chill. Maybe it's, I'm thinking about it too much because I work already nine to five Monday to, Monday to Friday, yeah. and then I'm thinking if I would do that extra. But some girls do like uh, I don't know Tuesdays because sometimes there's lit on Tuesdays. There's parties there. Lit on Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> you'll do like a Friday Tuesday or a Saturday Tuesday. Maybe not Friday Saturday. If you do a Friday Saturday, you're making crazy money. I don't know if I would be able to stay up that late. Yeah, you would. Four it's your the... fucking job. I used to do overnights at CN. Like crazy. I was perfectly fine. I used to start at eleven thirty p.m. I would start. I used to work at the, I used to work at the restaurant. I'd finish like 2 a.m. and for me that was like too much. Man. Yeah, because you're not used to it. You've got a routine. Yeah. 
Yeah. These girls trust me. When you're making 900 bucks a night, Josh, you just think until 4 o'clock. What about, okay, so if we're talking about like attention from guys and stuff, what about like if you date a celebrity? Me dating a celebrity? Yeah. You're just in the background though, the, probably your whole <laughs> life. You know, like when you watch like some girl on the, on the red carpet and she's like with her boyfriend and he, like no one gives a fuck about him? Yeah. That's, that's, that's your life. I I would like that though. I would. I, I don't know if I would want that level of fucking, I mean, we do this fucking podcast. So Are you like, beta if you're like in the background like that? You're a little bitch. Wonder, fuck. Or you give, you know, it's your girlfriend. It's just a spotlight. It's, you know, do you? This is a good fucking question, okay? Because girls generally want the alpha male, right? Yeah. In terms of who they're gonna date for yeah. like breeding pur- breeding purposes. And yeah, shit like, like scientifically, that. like yeah, yeah. They want the alpha male. Yeah. If you're a celebrity woman, like a really prominent celebrity. Yeah. How do you find that alpha male? Since you're probably the alpha person, like to be in that industry like that. And if you don't. Does that mean they just go after betas? He's, like, he maybe he's an alpha, like in other aspects of the relationship, not just like when she's at work. Because when she's at work, it's her time to be the alpha. She's the fucking. Yeah. She's the. Do you know what I mean? It's, so maybe that's what it is. It's like when you're doing, the, when you see those guys like in the background of the photo shoot. It's just like, listen, honey, holding gotta, the purse yeah, and shit. I gotta go you know? to work. I'm going to work. Like, just hold up two seconds. Yeah. You know? Speaking of fucking red carpet, did you see the Met Gala? Yeah, it was retarded. I don't. Was that the Kim Kardashian and the all black uh, thing? Yeah, did you see the meme where they fucking superimposed her onto Hogwarts and she was a Dementor? Yeah, yeah, it's so <laughs> good. It's so good. You had to. I was crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was watching this thing, okay? And I don't understand for the life of me two things. One, how any of that is fashion. But that's what it's for, though. For fashion. Okay, it's a fashion gala. It's like a, it's like a fashion thing and every year they have a theme. Yeah. This year's theme was uh, America or something like that. I don't know how any of those things relate to America. Yeah, it's fucked up. But this is like again, this is probably just me being an angry old man. I don't understand how any of that is fashion. There was I posted a couple of stories about it. there was one girl with a horse. Literally. Her, yeah. A horse on her dress. You didn't see the Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You posted a bunch of them though. Yeah. They're all ridiculously yeah, stupid. The horse is another yeah. one. I think it was uh, Eugene Levy's son. He had like a parachute. He's gay though, it's allowed. Yeah, well gay or listen, gay or not. Like I don't no, know. No, you can't pull that off your straight, I'm sorry. I can't pull a fucking horse out of my chest. Let's be honest. I don't know. Like a, a parachute though. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, uh, Kim Kardashian had the whole fucking, the whole black thing. <laughs> the, the the, I don't thing know what so the fuck. Like where do people come up with, with this shit? It's like, it, it looks, you know even, it looks like Hunger Games. It's not even nice. It looked like literally yeah. the, the rich people in the Hunger Games. Yeah. And so I'm looking at these people and I'm like, how do you, how does this not come across to you? You ever like get dressed at night or like when you go to a wedding, you're like, wow, I don't feel good right now in this suit, for example. Or like, I don't like. You don't like the way you feel. Yeah. yeah. The pants could be too loose. Your top could be too, like, how the fuck do these people walk out of their house like that? And be like, yeah, I, I, I feel confident right now. I feel good. You're going to get fucked up right now with yeah. that. I don't know. Yeah. I, I really, I really don't understand. And yeah. the amount they fucking pay for those clothes. Yeah. They don't pay for shit. They get, give it to them for sure. No. Yeah, it's true. The tickets though, apparently like fucking $40,000. For, for me and you to go or the celebrities? For them to go. Like you have to, like some people are invited obviously, but some people buy tickets to go there. Like the Biebers of the world are not, are not buying tickets. Well, no, because apparently what it is, is they, uh, they buy the ticket mm-hmm. and then the money that they buy the ticket with is sent to a foundation but it's a foundation for the museum of fine arts or whatever the fuck that's hosting the gala let's have this other wing we'll continue this you think this one's really bad no we're gonna fucking find bonnet this is a big pepper on the front of it scotch bonnet Mm, tasty this is not even hot that's not true hold on Hmm. Hmm. oh yeah holy fuck oh yeah yeah this one creeps up on you it's fucking tasty though yeah, these chicken wings are mental, though. St. Hubert, shut up. <laughs> St. Hubert. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Oof. Jesus Christ. Oof. <coughs> Not bad. <coughs> oh. <coughs> the, more you, the more you breathe, the more it hurts. That was a tasty one, though. <sighs> I think it's my favorite one. What's it called? I don't know. <sighs> the more you breathe, the more it hurts. God, put me on hot ones. I'm going to win. I think we're, it's not as bad because we're going gradually, but that one was hectic at the end. <clears throat> Where's my lips? Oh, my God, I'm sweating. With this? <sighs> Scotch bonnet. What's that girl's name there? The one that got murdered as a, as a kid. What? <laughs> Is that her name? The one who got murdered as a kid. Her parents got accused of it, never got really got convicted. She was like a, a dancer or the kid. What in God's name Bene? are you talking about? Ramsey. Bene Ramsey. Could it be? Is that a Gordon's thing? daughter. Yeah, Gordon Ramsey's daughter. She got murdered? No, it's not actually a daughter. Benet Ramsey. Who, where the fuck, what's the story? What's tell her me, name? Oh, tell me the story. I don't even know what you're talking about. It's a, it's a famous like unsolved murder of this young girl that she got killed. I think they found her in like the basement or some shit. And the parents were the accused for a long, long time. And they never got like convicted. They never got caught. They never got anything. Oh, yeah. John Benet Ramsey. 
John Benet. That's the killer? No, that's the girl. That's John Benet is her name and her last name is Ramsey. John Benet. Yeah, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, you're fucking serious. Let's get some fucking real names here, guys. Oh, my God. Parents are Rap so a good old-fashioned American names like Paul and George and Peter. And John Benet. What are you, French? <clears throat> anyway, so the table, like I was saying, is $125,000. Tickets like $40,000. And it's just, I'm looking at this whole thing going down. People are posting about it online. This thing's creeping up. It's like it goes away and it comes back. People are posting about it online. And I'm like, this looks like a fucking, it looks like the Hunger Games. Like, it just looks like a bunch of really rich people Mm -hmm. who don't give a fuck about anybody else around them. And are just like, let's all go party fucking together and screw all the rich people. And the funniest part about the whole fucking thing is that all these rich people are coming down the fucking red carpet. You're sweating. Yeah, I'm fucking sweating. All these rich people are coming down the red carpet. None of them, not to get into COVID or anything, but none of them have any masks. And all well, the people... She, she had no mask in Kardashian. Yeah, she had a full, she she, had a full yeah, mask. She could go to fuck, she could walk the streets of Afghanistan with that. Dude, yeah. they, they'd fucking applaud her. Yeah. None of them... <laughs> <laughs> the new look in Kabul. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kabul in vogue. Um, none of them have any masks on, but only their fucking, like, their servants, the people who are around them, like, giving them the help and, like, holding their dresses have masks on. So it just even, like, pr- increases that look of, like, the, the higher uh, monarchs or whatever, the higher people ruling over the lower class. Like, it just looked so weird. Like, the optics of it were so fucking strange. I don't get what the point of it, because, anyways, there's this girl that I follow on Instagram, and I guess she went to, like, fashion school or some shit, you know? And she had, at one point during her Instagram story... Crazy or what? Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's huge. Yeah, sorry. She had screenshotted, I guess, the ones she wanted to, like, critic, right? So she puts a screenshot of the dress with, like, what she thinks of it. Yeah. Some were good and some were bad. It's mm. like, what do you mean it's good, this one? How is this good? <laughs> one of them was, like, the fucking shoulder pads up to here. Oh, my God, I love the style. <laughs> if this means this. This means that. You know, it's funny. We always talk about how like serious. people's opinions take on so much more value now, or they think they take so much more value. Are you fucking serious? Here we are in my fucking paycheck to paycheck condo critiquing the fucking $60,000 dress of this celebrity who paid $125,000 for a table at the Med Gala yeah. in my fucking boxers, you know what I mean, with my face mask on. This girl looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like when, it's like when you watch like a, a documentary about a murderer, you're like... Fucking idiot. <laughs> Foot marks all over the floor. Fingerprints everywhere, you dumb fuck. The, v- the VMAs were the night before, too. The Video Music the Awards. Video, this is, the, the, like, is that even a thing anymore? Is it even Are music videos even still really a thing the way they used to be? Apparently. I'm not really big on music videos in general, but apparently, yeah. Like, my mom and sister and shit, like, they still watch all those fucking VMAs, Golden Globes, uh, music, Oscars, whatever the fuck they are. They all still watch it. Why is that primarily such a girl thing? Those award shows, and look, I've watched them. I watched the, I've watched the Oscars, yeah. I've watched the Grammy, but why are award shows primarily such a girl thing? Oh, I feel so like far. it's their sports. I feel like girls have more of like these celebrity like idols than we do. I think guys have the idols. I don't think we idolize them in the same way. Yeah, there you go. That's probably better. That's that's well said. I think girls <laughs> tend to like idolize their their celebrity. This is is in general. Like guys can do this too, but I think in, for the most part, girls tend to like idolize their celebrity idols. In the sense of like, I need to look like them or, or or act like them. I think guys idolize their celebrity idols more from the point of view of I want to be like them. So like, I'll give you an example. My, Michael Jordan. Every guy idolized Michael Jordan because they wanted to be a top tier fucking athlete, a yeah. top tier basketball player yeah. with all that basketball skill. A girl will oh. A girl will <laughs> idolize Kendall or Kylie Jenner or whatever and be like, oh, I, I would like to look like this person. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel like a lot of girls idolize like singers and artists more than they do actors, you know? What do you mean artists? Like singers. Like, for example, a lot of people are going to look, are going to be more idolized by, on the top of my head, Demi Lovato, for example, a friend I know loves her, right? Yeah. Why? Why? She's beautiful. She has a great voice, right? But why Demi Lovato over someone like a great actress? You know, I feel like, I don't know, I could be wrong. I just feel like girls idolize more singers than they do actors. You know the one I don't understand at all? What? Beyonce. To this day. Because she's like, she's like the queen or some shit, no? Dude, I cannot stand she's hot, though. Beyonce. I don't even fucking care anymore. She's hot. Don't tell me she's not hot. I don't, like, I don't care. You would definitely give her a shot. I, yeah, but like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. Like, you're so, oh, I mean, you're so extra, I find. Yeah. Every girl loves Beyonce. And every time you ask a girl why, because she's the queen. And it's like, mm. nobody ever gives you a fucking reason. Why is she a queen? Don't your finger on it. 
Bet, bet. It's like that, you know, like. I think she represents like woman independence. She's an independent. That's one of her songs. Oh, there you go. She's an independent woman. There you go. Watch it's like, oh, we could all, I got it. Like, I, I don't mean like a man, you know? That's what she like portrays. You know, her husband's is Jay Z. Like, who do you think is the alpha in that fucking relationship? I don't feel like Jay Z's an alpha in that relationship. He looks like a fucking beta. Cuck. I think she fucks him. I don't think he even fucks her. You know what I mean? He just, I, I, he looks like the random boyfriend in the background of the pictures. In all the pictures, he's the one taking up all the space. But you know what, man? Like, be, for me, better that way. I don't want to be in your fucking spotlight. Mm-hmm. I get it. You know, I'm not down. Yeah. Unless you're a pop, well, they're a power couple, so that would be a little different. You know. But I think like Beyonce. But I think Beyonce has way more fans overall around the world than Jay Z does. You know I why so. though? I think, and I'll tell why? you why I think. Because she's why? a tr- she's a triple threat. What she sings, she dances, and she can act. Well, she's not really white. She's been a gold member. Big deal. Yeah, she's fuck sick Cleopatra. <laughs> she, she did a fucking good job in that movie yeah. though. Jay Z just raps, and he fucking even barely does that well anymore. It's no good, eh? I'll, I'll give you a very controversial opinion for anybody who's listening who understands or listens to hip hop. I don't want to say understands. <clears throat> I don't think after. Jay Z's first retirement because he had like three of them. I don't think there was ever anything really good. Like, like he had Reasonable Doubt, which is his first album, which is fucking incredible. He had uh, the Blueprint, which was fucking incredible. He had In My Lifetime. He had a couple of really good albums. Then he retired and came back with the, or I think the Black Album was before his his retirement. Anyway, the last good album I think he had was the Black Album, which was like late two thousands. Then he retired like three times and came back, and now all he raps about is like how he paid a million dollars for a fucking piece of art. I got him. Two million dollar oh. Margella. <laughs> okay, let's get this next swing. Um, I want to know something though. Yeah. Say what though. is the point of always retiring, coming back? I think it's for like probably a marketing thing, or maybe like you actually are fucking fed up, and then you're just like, oh, I miss it. Three times? Uh, who knows? Where did you learn your lesson the first time? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, like you, maybe you're you gonna miss it again. Yeah. Wait, wait, what are we eating? Uh, what are we saucing? I mean, ghost pepper. Now we're gonna get yeah. fucking serious. Now, now it's gonna get fucked up. Like now we're actually gonna throw up. You dabbing it or you're gonna put it on the plate? I'm gonna put it on the plate quickly like this. Yeah, this one I feel like is going to be a bit like of a... Like it's thick. Look, yeah. God falls. Yeah, the, the, thicker, this. the thicker it is, it's like cum. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> the, the, yeah, it's like cum. The thicker it is... The, the tastier. W- the wor- no, the worst food you had, I think. Yeah. The, the last five days, I've been on a fucking junk food and alcohol bender. My cum probably tastes like a dumpster, dude. Okay, ready? Let's do this. All right, cheers. Oh, my God. I'm fucked. Mm-mm. Mm. This even tastes like shit. Oh, oh fuck yeah. no! Yeah, you feel that one, eh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that won't even taste like fucking trash. Oh fuck. Mhm. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, That's <laughs> fucking hot. That was really fucking hot. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Look at me. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Me. Oh my god. <clears throat> the last one's gonna be even worse. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ow. Uh, what the hell were we saying? What were we talking about? Like a dragon. <sighs> rawr, rawr, like a dungeon dragon. <clears throat> Is that Nicki Minaj? I don't know. I don't know who's who. Uh, apparently her cousin got swollen testicles. And I treated that. How do you know that? It's Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're <laughs> fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Would you fuck Nicki Minaj? Uh, it depends. Like, honestly, like, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know. It's too big, uh, her ass. I feel like her ass is way too big. Um, fuck. Okay. Yes, have, some, have, some, have some pain here. Hold on. Look at me. Yeah, take it. It's good for you. Hold on. Let me just some water. You know when, like, the saliva just starts building? You don't brought one shot. Look. I just... Okay, good for you. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. Hold on, let me pour some milk. You know what I feel like? Mm. It's around the tip of my tongue. Uh, Only there. It's the tip of my tongue and the back of my throat and the top of my teeth and, the, and my lips. What is it when you when you rehearse for something? What the fuck is this milk? The teeth and the lips and the tongue and the, and the, and the tits. You know when you have like car- caramel pudding? Mm, that's good. Mm. Oh, this is not milk. This is cardboard in liquid form. It's like shit. What the fuck is that? This doesn't coat your mouth. Is that oatmeal? Is that oatmeal coming? I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man. Well, the tries, eh? I didn't. Okay, good. Did I? No, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I can't even speak. Fuck. So you would fuck Nicki Minaj? I fuck Nicki Minaj. Hold on, I need more water. I get a nice blowjob from her, too, you know? I think that would be good. Apparently, she has a sex tape. 
Oh, that's cool. I read somewhere that apparently there's a guy that has uh, the Kim Kardashian sex tape with different angles. A new, and, new and unseen angles. Oh, fuck, my mustache is running like crazy right now. <coughs> you ever... Uh, you ever watched the Kim Kardashian sex tape? <laughs> yeah, I watched it. Yeah? Of course. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He's plowing her. She's yeah. hot. It's nice. I'm not, so, I'm not so much a fan of the sex portions of it as I am the blowjob portions of it. Yeah, she's giving a nice, she's nice, giving a nice little, little fucking blowy. Mm-hmm. I'm lightheaded. I feel like beer is going to help me here. Hold on. You know what helps? For the, for all the smokers out there, smoking <sighs> a cigarette actually helps for me the most. Why? I have no idea. Because maybe your mouth mouth gets you know, coated the fucking with the t- cancer and the tar just blending together, you know. What? If, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. What if you fucking t- uh, chew tobacco? No, it's disgusting. You ever chew tobacco? You ever, you ever chew, do it? You ever chew tobacco? You ever chew tobacco? <laughs> no. Have you? It's disgusting. Does it get you high? No, it doesn't. The NFL players are just fucking crazy. I'm fucking lightheaded. It's not 1930 anymore. Just smoke a cig. Holy mother of God! This is craziness. <clears throat> okay, it's coming down now. Ooh. The saliva is just building up. That was not bad though. Like it was horrible, but it was not that bad. Yeah, like that one tasted bad. Usually it lingers, you know? I'm kind of scared for that last one. Yeah, I think it's like, I think, you know how these like gradually just, you know, I think this one just like, it's just fucking skyrocket, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Like there's like two little X's on it, like eyeballs, you know? Like you know it's serious. <sighs> oh my God, excuse me. I'm gonna need like a retreat after this. Um, I'm, not, I'm not down to shit tomorrow morning. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a bad shit. I'm not down to shit. It's gonna burn so much. I can already feel it. Uh, I couldn't tell you anything of what the fuck we were saying. I Me mean, neither, I forgot. On this podcast. Talking about like uh, fucking Nicki Minaj. Oh, one point. I think that's where we left off. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. When do you think those fucking influencers are going to like die? <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not die. I don't mean die, like drop dead. <laughs> I mean like just... When you do know? you think every influencer in the whole <clears throat> world is going to just fucking die? I, I mean like, you know how like a baseball and like athlete, and like a sports athlete... <clears throat> has like until the 30s like oh influencers 30s? yeah depends who you are what's the like retirement date rappers it's like after 30 you're done I don't need to hear you rap about your fucking kid yeah I need to hear you rap about your fucking child you have a kid you love her you yeah. feed her you know what I mean you know so does everybody else baby you know blue wearing that 2 million dollar chain you know what I want to ask you about the, those uh, what are they called the galas what's it called the Met Gala yeah how come it's all like those celebrities and not like a Joe Rogan doing that or like somebody of like more importance than like Kim Kardashian, for I example. I think it's the same reason why those celebrities who go there don't realize that they look like a bunch of weirdo fucking Hunger Games people. Like a Joe Rogan would never do that. I don't think they have that level of self-awareness. I don't think like the... <clears throat> say what you want about Justin Bieber. I don't know them personally, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. But I don't think Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and fucking whoever the fuck was that girl who had a handbag shaped like an AK-47... I don't think they have that level of self-awareness that they realize they look fucking stupid. I think Joe Rogan and those other people, one, probably aren't even invited there. Yeah. And two, don't go because they realize like, if I go there, I look like a fucking idiot. And I'm, I'm not a fucking idiot. <sighs> My ears yeah. are sweating right oh, now. That's nice. You want to oh. just hit that last wing? Just say, fuck it. No, two seconds. Give me like... Th- Three minutes. Okay. I'm like two, three minutes. Yeah, Hold I think on. they don't have that level. This podcast just went off the fucking rails. It's literally all wet. Yeah. Here, look at what this is. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. This is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. You see this? Let's get saucy. It's gross. So- I'm saucy. What's that song? I'm bousy. It's worth the. It's worth the I'm just singing really obscure women rap songs now after I took that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> after I took that last sauce, no, yeah, I think they don't go there because they're they're self aware. That's the problem I think with like fucking celebrities nowadays and the and the people who idolize them, oh, is the celebrities don't have self awareness and the people who idolize them don't get any sense of self awareness from them and then in turn lack of that self awareness. But themselves. it could be that the celebrities just actually don't give a fuck. Maybe. You're so fucking rich. Maybe. You're so famous. People are gonna like look up to you literally regardless what you do. Besides like be a pedophile, literally. <laughs> you'll wear that and people are gonna be like oh my god wow like yeah. the girl on Instagram oh my god that's so beautiful no it's not yeah you would Queen. never wear that you would never slay. wear that slay if it's so beautiful I wanna see you wear it out slay. you would never but uh, every fashion show I see I look at the people and what they're wearing and I'm like who who wears this you ever watch a fucking Yeezy show a Yeezy runway I don't, they're all insane like nobody wears any of that shit it's a fucking potato sack with a couple of rips like, zero I, grams of protein in here <laughs> Not even a single gram. Josh, this doesn't make you jacked. Oh, my God. This makes you actually probably skinny. 
Okay, okay, ready? Yeah, shit before use. Shit before use? That's shake, what it says. Shake, oh. shake, shake. <laughs> shit before and after use, I guess. All right, how are we doing this one? Did you, you roll it? You, you didn't roll this one? Okay, yeah. Give it a, yeah, put on the, yeah, we'll put on the plate <coughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll roll it in. So this is what, the Carolina Reaper one? This is like the fucking crazy one. I'm fucking sweating right now, man. Yeah. This is too much. I've seen somebody eat a full Carolina Reaper. You know what's fucked up about this? What? I had food poisoning last night. I have you're, you're, you're gonna have it again tomorrow. I had like I went to a wedding. I fucking puked again, by the way, after eating. But this time it wasn't because uh you're crazy, by the way. It wasn't because I ate too much, because I think I got food poisoning. All okay, right, let's ready? go. No, Last on. wing before we fucking top this bitch off tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in to Beyond the Bench podcast. Oh fuck off. Beyond man. the yeah. sauce. We're gonna get saucy. Rawr right. rawr like a dungeon dragon. Cheers Whatever me. the hell we said else on this thing. I'm so fucked. Look at this. Too much, eh? Is this too much? Is that too much? Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel this one already. Oh, I'm cooked. I took, I'm the done. Bre- I took a breath and it went down my throat. I'm done. Slow creep. Slow creep. Oh, fuck. No, it's not that bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, give it, give it a second. It's coming. I feel it. This is a fucking slow burn. This is a slow burner. I'm taking the rest. Oh, oh God, yeah. That went down my throat. a little dab like this. Nom, 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 nom. It's tasty. Oh. Yeah, it's a slow creep, this one. The one before was, I think, worse, to be honest with you. Maybe I I think it's because we, we accustomed... Oh, this is going... No, uh, no, 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 you're wrong. It's on my lips. I, almost, I, I just drooled. I don't even know what to take. Give me some water. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I got too excited on that last one there. I, I called it too soon. <laughs> I am sweating. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, no. Give me some bread. Fucking shit. Oh, God. Yeah, give me bread. Did you finish all the bread? Oh. Well. Ah. I think I have boogers coming out of my nose. Me too. I'm really leaking. Ah. Ooh. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> I'm delirious. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. I can't finish the breath. Is that how you sound when you come? <laughs> uh. Oh, <laughs> uh. there's Josh's coming noise on his face and his sound. <laughs> I can't speak. The poor girls you fuck. Uh, oh my god. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry for anybody watching this. I, I, my nose. I have nothing left to say. Uh, I don't know what I drank on this one. Uh, fuck. Uh, you think when you die, this is what it feels like? Yeah, I hope not. <sighs> like in your whole body? You think when people die, they they feel this pain? I guess well. I think the air feels good on my tongue. Uh, I was about to go for the uh, the finger. I was about to finger it. I put it in my mouth. Fuck me. I'm fucking spitting all kinds. Of so, I'll be honest with you. Sorry about the disgusting spit. Okay, okay. Woo. Uh, I'll be honest with you. That's nice, though. Makes you feel alive, though. Holy yeah. shit. I'm gonna wake up. If you're ever t- fucking tired like this. I'll be honest with you. The progression was good. I could do a hot ones, I think. I wonder. <clears throat> oh, my God. Sorry. I wonder if this is or it's as or the. I'm so sorry. I wonder if it's as bad as this or if Hot Ones is worse. It's as bad as that. <sighs> I think it's worse. I wonder if the bomb is like that. Oh my god. What's it called this one? The the show? Beyond the bench? No, the fucking Oh the sauce. <laughs> yeah, the show. The Carolina Reaper. I wanna make a Beyond the Bench uh <sighs> sauce. Uh, sauce, we could do it. Okay. 
Justin, you have any what do you want to shout out? Just torture. Sorter. 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 Is this, I'm guys, I'm not even playing this up. Or am I red? Yeah. Holy mother. I feel like all around my mouth, all here, I feel like you know when you like I don't even know what I was gonna say. I don't know what I was gonna say. Please God, forgive me for my sins and lead us not into temptation. Our Father who art in heaven. All right. On that note, guys, I don't even know where to take this podcast after that. We have no questions, and I'll fucking be honest with you. Even if we did, I don't even think I would answer them. So thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Beyond the Bench, Beyond the Hot Ones, Beyond the Sauce, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) I'm fucking lightheaded. My head is spinning right now. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, We hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching on YouTube... Make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to us. We're missing two subscribers to hit 200. So if you're watching this, we just put ourselves through so much torture for those two subscriptions. Imagine, that's how much it means to us. That's how desperate we are. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notifications to all your friends. Follow us on the socials at Beyond the Bench Podcast. Uh, I mean, comment if you want us to do other weird shit like this, like acupuncture or something. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how that would be doable. Mm. How would we do that? We'd have to lay on the table, I guess. Mm. Um, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, leave us a five-star review. Leave us a comment there, too. My fucking neck uh, is literally sweating. Look, look. Oh, dude, I'm fucking finished right now. I don't even know how I can like think. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll be back every uh, week on Fridays. <laughs> every, uh, every week on Fridays, 9 a.m., new episodes, guests, oh. ourselves. Assuming we survive tonight. This cleared my sinuses so yeah. well. Yeah. I've been congested for the last couple of days. Yeah, this is fucked though. Yeah, we should make a compilation of just me awing, yeah. ooing and awing. All right, an hour and 15. That's good. See if I can edit this, edit this in two days. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> next week. We love you. Pray for us. Pray for us.